What's up everybody? It's your girl Maggie back with another video, y'all. So I know y'all looking at the title like girl, what's going on now? So honestly, y'all, I just wanted to get on here and kind of talk to y'all. It's like a life update of what I got going on. I really don't know where this video is gonna go. I feel like it might just be me kind of expressing how I feel, more so like me talking out loud. I feel like it's been a while since I really just sat and talked to you guys because the last video I made, like I wasn't even expecting to make that video, you know what I'm saying? And that was just kind of me speaking from emotion on that day day you know speaking out of emotion and things like that and that, a lot of times when I do my little rant videos and stuff that's really what it is it's just me feeling how I feel and kind of speaking from source through source and whatnot so I kind of just wanted to get on here to talk to you guys and say what's up and a life update to be completely honest y'all I don't really know what to say what to do how to feel anymore like I feel like life is kind of just really taking a toll on me not necessarily in a bad way like with everything going on in the black lives matter movement and stuff like that i feel like that's a good thing but at the same time to me it's kind of like dumb as fuck that that even has to be a thing like you know what i'm saying like the fact that people have to fight not even this is the thing like it's i it should have never been a thing you know what i'm saying the the whole setup of the way life is and you know living in america and things like that and the, the crazy thing is before all of this happened i was actually going to make a video saying what it's like to be black in america because i feel like people do not understand and especially after i had did the taylor swift video which i had talked about i'm like yo people just do not get it like fuck equal equality with women and men and shit like that y'all gotta understand that black people are at the bottom of the totem pole and i feel like for black women it's just extremely hard for us like people do not realize i feel like we are almost like conditioned to be strong through everything our men go through so much traumatic shit you know what i'm saying and we're expected to be there and help them and guide them and uplift them when we literally have fucking no body it's nobody there helping us motivate us push us guide us like you know what i'm saying it's like it's like we got to make all this shit up from thin air for ourselves figure it out um we do not have the same privileges you know and things of that nature it's just kind of it's fucked up <laughs> but it's not like a bad thing at the same time just because i know the capability within my people you know what i'm saying like i just know like what life will be in the future and i'm very excited for that but like during this time period it's just a lot going on mentally i feel like for me personally like I'm just kind of like at a weird place in my life like you know I hadn't had a job for like two years y'all I got a job people don't even realize I'm not very open about everything that I have going on in my life I just feel as though it's nobody's business I'm very kind of secretive it was a lot of stuff that I have been dealing with was for some years you know what I'm saying like I couldn't get a job because I had a record myself like and you know what I'm saying and that's why people don't understand like yeah this system is very fucked up because people look at me like oh my god like I did not expect you to have a record why because of why like you know what I'm saying why you know and it's like oh well you look like like you can't judge your book by its cover like you know what I'm saying like it's been a lot of shit that has happened and transpired over the years um I kind of just really want to be real open and raw with y'all like and I feel like I was kind of losing that I in a sense with myself when it came to this YouTube stuff because I feel like I was trying to do stuff for the views especially with my right my reactions and stuff like that like I do it for y'all but it's like I don't really like that shit like I just don't <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I don't want it to feel like a job like I don't want it to feel like I have to do this stuff and I know I've spoken on this like a million times and y'all probably like hear this girl go again talking about these damn reaction videos but it's like I don't know I think that more so I would rather you know come on here when my life is like I don't want to say going the way I want it to go but I really want this YouTube channel to be me documenting my life I don't want to have to make eight different separate channels to document my journey you know what I'm saying like of course like I'll have different channels for different things that I'm doing but as far as Mad Givens TV like Mad Givens TV is me like this is me like Mad Givens is my name like it's short for Maddie Givens like that's me like so and the only reason that I have that name a lot of people wonder like where does that name come from Mad Givens TV so when I was in middle school we had like computers and to log on to the computer it's like the first three letters of your last name or something like that and then your first name or something like that it was first three whatever so that's how the mad givens came about and then once you know instagram came out that was just my name like because it wasn't my name that i used to log into 
the computer at school and then it just so happens you know I switch schools and everything like that so a lot of people just started calling me Mad Givens because people knew me off of Instagram like back when I was really doing Instagram like now I'm not really on it as much you guys can feel free to follow me okay thank you but um just social media in general like I feel like I just do not like the same shit I used to I do not care about the same shit that I used to like I don't care about any of this shit trying to do anything for clout trying to get followers subscribers like I don't care like I really don't because it's not really doing anything for me in my life personally I feel like I'm rather like kind of just experience life and really go throughout life like a lot of times I do vlogs and stuff like that that I just never post because I feel like sometimes it takes away from me actually living in the moment and it's those moments that you know i won't be able to get back and so sometimes i just really want to be you know there experiencing it i don't want to you know have to kind of block my emotions because i'm trying to film and make it look a certain way you know on camera and stuff like that so i really just feel like since i'm young i'm 21 i'll be 22 in september um i really just want to live in the moment you know what i'm saying and really just be truly happy doing what makes me truly happy um which i do love the videos i do love editing i do love you know graphic design and everything like that so i'll be doing a lot of more work in regards to that you know very soon i feel like this is the first time in my life that i've really 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 realized my potential i feel like my mind just fluctuates so much in regards to like how i really feel about myself like my confidence fluctuates and everything like that like and i just feel like you know for a while like i had been so alone and in my head and trying to figure out you know everything like for me y'all know i'm a virgo if you didn't know now you know i am a very emotional person and i love hard but i feel like love is really kind of it's low-key almost my driving force i feel like me being in relationships and helping people is what makes me happy and i've done a video on this before like i feel like i'm getting emotional because i've done a video on this before a couple years ago when i had lost like my closest friends you know what i'm saying and i was just kind of like at a very i don't i was never like you know super low but it just like it really hurt me you know what i'm saying because i don't keep that many people close to me so the people i do keep close you know what i'm saying like their presence mean a lot to me their life means a lot to me like you know what i'm saying there's literally nothing i wouldn't do for somebody that i truly do love and care about you know whether it be a friendship relationship whatever the situation may be anybody who genuinely i feel as though you can care you care about me like you know because i can feel energies and stuff like that too so like i can feel and i can you know register i can read people very well you know what i'm saying so i just know off a of conversation what you're saying like how you're saying and what you know what i'm saying like if you really care about me or not so like the people that do like it really is extremely touching to me like even with this black lives matter stuff like when people like say even before like all of this would happen like <sighs> y'all know i'm emotional when people would say like i remember when white people would really look at me dead in my eyes and be like be safe or even black people would be like be safe like you know what i'm saying it's like damn like i feel that shit because people don't realize like leaving your house like and stuff like that and coming back home and just living your day-to-day -day life and doing whatever you want to do seeing your friends seeing your family you know having a great birthday like stuff like that going on trips and vacations is like a fucking privilege like you know what i'm saying you don't have to you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow the next day anything like that anything can happen and over the past like month and stuff like this like i've just been experiencing a lot of different things y'all like i kind of had like two near-death experiences one not too long ago a couple weeks ago i was driving right and i'm driving and the car in front of me like swears mind you it's raining like it's raining the roads are slick so the car in front of me like swerves like you know some quick shit but i can't see in front of them so i swear too y'all it's literally somebody coming in our lane like if i did not move y'all i'm telling you within a millisecond i would have gotten hit and it would have hit me directly from the driver's side because my car was going like this they were coming like this you know what i'm saying so they would have hit me boom and after that i'm like yo what the fuck so after that incident happened like y'all like i drove i turned my music all the way off like i pulled over i'm like oh my gosh like god just saved my life like you know what i'm saying like i literally could have been dead right now then i had another incident where <laughs> big shout out to my friend um i'm not gonna go into details about everything but basically i passed out and i do not remember what happened i don't remember 
you know what led up to me passing out i just literally remember me passing out and she kept asking me like basically if she needed to call the ambulance and you know just doing all of this stuff and that shit really hit me too i'm like oh my gosh like what the fuck is going on so it's like for me i just really appreciate every minute of my life and i feel like that's why i'm so adamant about not knowing what to do with the reactions because it's like okay i don't like doing it but if it's like okay well you get the views but it's like what really comes with the views like you know what i'm saying i don't need subscribers that don't fuck with me for real or i don't need people who um like me or watch me because they think i'm cute or whatever the fuck like that's just not me i've told y'all multiple times i'm not a trophy wife that's not me i ain't never gonna be that like i am way way much way more like i just am like the mindset that i have like you know what i'm saying like i just know what i bring to the table so i would never let anybody subject me into being just a pretty face which is why i do so much i know how to do the own my own oil changes in my car like you know what i'm saying i know how to do all this stuff i've done all this stuff i've done construction work i've been a model like i've done so many things so that for myself like you know what i'm saying people don't i'm a whole notary like i'm a notary i have two trademarks so i feel like for myself like I can be very hard on myself even though I have um, accomplished a lot you know I think that since I dropped out of school I had to accomplish a lot I forced myself to because I never just wanted to be like you know what I'm saying like I feel like that was really what drove me when I dropped out was to make sure that I did you know create a name for myself and made sure that I was doing stuff in life that I was actually proud of you know and I feel like a lot of times I am hard on myself because it's like I feel like I could be so much further if I was just focused and this and that and I feel like that also is what takes away from me living in the moment as well I know I kind of like jumped off of like the whole like relationship thing but I've been single for a very long time um a lot of my relationships were like just bad like not bad in the sense that like it was just they were just very detrimental to me mentally i just i just end up losing myself in relationships when they're not with the right person it's extremely easy to do that even with somebody who is a nice person a great person and they're bringing stuff to the table if their mental is not you know if their um energy or whatever is not good for you mentally then they just not good for you mentally i don't give a fuck what they bring to the table i don't care if they bring in money i don't care if they bring in good vibe you know whatever if you're not mentally stimulating me or you know actually having some sort of benefit to me i don't want to say like a benefit because it's not really like that but if it's to the point where i'm losing myself or mentally i'm just not doing well you know what i'm saying like that's not good you know what i'm saying and you just have to cut relationships like that whether it be friendship or not and i've said before like you know people need to treat relationships like they treat friendships if there's something you want to allow your friend to do you shouldn't allow your significant other to do that either and so for me um i think it's hard because i do care about people so much and i do love people so much that i do keep them around like you know what i'm saying despite the bullshit but it's like i don't feel as though that's really doing any sort of benefit to me in my life but then i felt like when i did cut everybody off and i did have no friends and then it's like damn now i'm alone like you know what i'm saying and i feel like then now i'm getting in my head because i don't i'm alone you know what i'm saying and it's like the feeling of being alone like nobody understands you nobody you know gets you and stuff like that so i think for me like um helping people is really what i like to do you know what i'm saying i love helping people and i will help anybody like and so when you don't have people around you or you don't have people that you can help you know what i'm saying and motivate uplift things like that i feel like i'm not as happy you know sort of thing but i really just needed to find that happiness within myself so lately i feel like i've been trying to like get out more and like hang out with people more because even though i don't have friends i actually do have friends like you know what i'm saying people that you know have been good friends to me but i just don't really hang out with them or anything like that a lot of times just because i am in my head thinking you know what i'm saying like overthinking stuff so much like y'all i kid you not i spend like 90 percent of my days just thinking so it can be overwhelming at times you know um and it's hard because I feel like I am the only person that thinks like me. And the only, well, the people that think like me also tend to be grown. Like they tend to be in their 30s or whatever. And so it's just like, you know what I'm saying? And they're like men. Like I've never really connected with a lot of females. Well, I do like have female friends that think like me and stuff like that. And, you know, we're connected, but it's all through social media. Like I feel like there's nobody really in person that I can just 
call up and link with and stuff like that so for me i just have kind of been dealing with that and just figuring out what I really like and what truly makes me happy and what do I really want out of life and um just everything I don't, I don't know I just want to be real open honest and just document my life and you know everything that's going on me filming these videos like I said it's supposed to be for my grandkids like you know what I'm saying like so people could see my thought process and how I was thinking at that time in my life at you know that age and everything that's going on and you know what I'm saying like and I don't want to lose that and I don't want to be so set on you know making it a dollar or you know making somebody else happy or getting subscribers that I just lose sight of myself in what I truly do like there's nothing I love more than being on camera and talking and um, I'm very good when it comes to writing and stuff like that like that's just really what I like and I feel like you know soon within these next couple of weeks I'll be really in some you know perfecting my craft and doing you know what I truly like to do instead of just doing stuff for the money or you know whatever the case may be I feel like relationship wise a lot of people ask I am single I am single like I said I've been single for like three years four years like four years yeah like four years <laughs> like four years and I think that I probably am ready for like another relationship I ain't gonna lie like you know what I'm saying but I'm not rushing anything like I'm just chilling you know I just be chilling because I just feel like the next person I'm going to be in a relationship with I'm gonna marry them so it's no rush baby it's no rush okay I gotta deal with you forever so we ain't rushing shit you know what I'm saying like I'm just kind of like going with the flow you know